Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and I am super super excited for today's video because we're going to be creating The Sims for my upcoming cottage living let's play. This video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program but this pack is now out worldwide so you can go play it for yourself if you end up getting the pack. Cottage Living is out which is super super exciting so I've already posted a bunch of videos with it because I got super early access but now I have the pack and I was able to create the sims for my let's play which is hopefully starting tomorrow. I've had a lot of things going on IRL so I haven't gotten the chance to get this ready for today or yesterday but it is getting there hopefully i can record tomorrow and get started don't know if i have to do a build first i might build their house we'll see about that but a let's play is coming and i will tell you guys about my sims and, and about the storyline that i have kind of imagined for the let's play in this video so Hope you guys are excited. Give the video a thumbs up if you are. But yeah, we are going to be playing Cottage Living and I want to do a little bit of a like a storyline based let's play, but also focus a lot on just exploring the new pack and everything that comes with it. Obviously, main things being farming and farm animals, the new world, doing errands for the villagers, stuff like that. And all the let's plays that I've done recently have been with just one sim because I can find it kind of overwhelming playing with like a whole family. There's just a lot. So I've been doing less plays with just one sim, but we are branching out today. We are doing a little family <laughs> for this let's play and I am not a pro when it comes to let's plays at all. I have not done that many on my channel, but I do think they're quite fun and recently with Eco Lifestyle and with um Dream Home Decorator, I've had so much fun and I've been so excited to just film the let's play part. So hopefully that happens with Cottage Living as well. But here is our first sim. So her name is June and I don't know like who's gonna be our main sim. I think we're gonna be playing with all three of them. <laughs> if you guys have seen Ginny and Georgia from Netflix, it's a Netflix original, not the best, but I have watched it. Uh, this is a little bit inspired by that, <laughs> a little bit because we have a single mom and she has two kids. Um, the kids have different fathers and now they have moved to Hanford on Bagley. Um, June here has bought this like rundown cottage and we're going to start with almost no money I'm thinking and kind of work our way up and hopefully end up building a bigger farm and be self-sustaining, selling our vegetables and produce from the animals as well and stuff like that. I really want to do the village errands as well. So we're going to be starting with no money, which I never do. I always just have a random, a random amount of money because I don't like to be limited by money when I play The Sims, but I feel like it could be good. It could be good this time. So June is a single mother and <laughs> you guys know, do you guys know how in um, Jeannie and Georgia, um, they're all named after places where they were born. Well, Georgia kind of picked her name, but Georgia obviously is a place. And then her kids are called um, Virginia and Austin, <laughs> named after the places where they were born. So I don't know why, but it just popped in my head to also do something kind of funny like that as well. So all of the Sims in this family are named after months. <laughs> So we have June and then she decided to call her kids April and August. So I thought that was funny <laughs> or maybe that's just me. I find them very amusing. So June is the mother. I love her. I feel like she's turned out really, really cool. Um, she's a young adult. So she did have April because April is a teenager when she was super young herself. So she was a teen mom. Again, Jeannie and Georgia inspired. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's like maybe in like her early 30s now, maybe just turned 30 or something, but she's a young adult in the game. And in this video, I'm only doing their everyday outfits. I obviously will dress them for every single category once we start the Let's Play, but this video is already long and I actually did a lot of everyday outfits. I did four for June here and then I did two 
for April because I could not decide on what kind of style I wanted to give her and then I even gave two to a little August so we are using a lot of the new clothes from Cottage Living but also obviously combining that with a lot of custom content because I love CC my game is full of custom content and I love using it so obviously <laughs> we have CC hair for June here and I did give it ombre I don't know if I went a bit far with giving her ombre, but I really like the look of it, like in her hair. It's almost like a balayage. I don't know which one it is, but it looks really nice going from like the brown color to lighter brown, almost blonde. And then we have all these different outfits. I really wanted to give her an outfit as well that would be good for gardening because she will be doing a lot of gardening and farming and taking care of the animals, using the new top in her first outfit from the pack. And then this outfit is actually from Paranormal Stuff, but I've never used it and I kind of liked it on her like it had the perfect vibe for June and also for Hanford and Bagley so I really wanted to do it and then we're giving her the new aspiration forgot what it's called but I haven't really played with it yet so we are going to be completing that and then she loves the outdoors obviously how many simmers out there right now are starting their LPs and they have loves the outdoors <laughs> treat for their sims I swear like 99% but she also has the new animal enthusiast treat and she's also family oriented so she is a really good mom she really really loves her kids Kids, and she's a single mom so neither of the dads are in the picture anymore and there is a bit of a conflict here because April did not want to move she did not want to move into the middle of nowhere to Hanford and Bagley and leave all her friends and everything behind like her school and everything because uh, they used to live in the city so she's not happy to be living in this rundown cottage in this random town with random people so we'll see how she adjusts i do want to do some like character development for her throughout the whole let's play but in the beginning she is not happy to be there she still has a very city look to her i even gave her the city native aspiration from um, city living that's the expansion pack where it came from so yeah and she also is neat so she's a kind of a clean freak she does not like the idea of farming and like dirt and dirty animals and you know getting your hands dirty she's not into that but we'll see what happens with her <laughs> but yeah she's a little bit of a diva but not really i don't think she's a mean girl or anything like that she is her own personality we'll, we'll kind of explore that more in the let's play i haven't even decided it fully i just know that she was happy where she was in the city with her friends and now she's moved like super far away and she has no friends and she's in the middle of nowhere in a freaking forest basically so <laughs> that's her and also yeah i did post screenshots here of all the sims i don't i know we went through the outfits kind of fast but i hope you guys saw in the screenshots all of june's everyday outfits i thought they turned out really cute and then for april we're doing two and the first one she has this really really cute cc top with cc jeans none of the new clothes really fit her personality and her style at least at this point in time because she has more of that like city look like i said and then i love this hair this is a custom content hair as well i kind of wanted to use the bandana hair from the pack but i feel like every single person is going to be using that hair in their let's plays because i know there's going to be a lot of let's plays right now and i just wanted my sims to look a little bit different so we went with cc hairs this one is from miko i think it's great you can look for miko cc on tumblr oh and she has also dyed her hair blonde or bleached it i guess so i don't think this is her natural hair color maybe we'll even change it in the series i don't know but i really like her as a blonde i think she looks great and then i think she's even wearing like heels and stuff for these looks like it is not great for a little rundown cottage and farm life um we'll see what she gets up to obviously she's still going to be going to school a new school um but if you guys have any ideas on like how she should get started 
in this new town maybe she could meet like a best friend or a boy or something let me know in the comments down below i definitely could be inspired by your guys's ideas as well but which part of the new pack should she really focus on let me know but yeah um her first look it's done now it was mainly blue loved it loved the top and the jeans and then she i think she's wearing like converse or something i don't even know but then for the second look she's wearing these really high um heels they're like these like wedges i don't know what they're called and then this is her outfit with this off shoulder yellow top and this blue skirt really cute she has a little nose stud as well and a lot of jewelry and then like i said she is neat and i think her second trait is outgoing so she's a very outgoing person so i can see her making friends with some people in this town once she stops judging them <laughs> and kind of starting to like Hemford and Bagley because of that. But yeah, here are her two outfits. Obviously she will have more uh, once I do the rest of them, but these are the two I made for this video. I really like her. She definitely is a character. Like she has quite a strong personality and she's not happy to be here, but we'll see what happens with her. And then lastly is her younger brother and his name is August, <laughs> which is my birth month, by the way. My, my birthday is in like two weeks. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not excited. <laughs> I feel old. Anyways, he's very cute. And yeah, like I said, they have different dads and he, I think I want to age him up in the series. He's a toddler now, but maybe we'll play with like shorter lifespan and also shorter seasons because I want to kind of see all the seasons in Hanford and Bagley. So we'll definitely see him as a kid. I gave him one of the new hairs from the pack. It is so freaking cute. Love these curls. And then he also has the new shirt or the new jumper, which is this one that has the backpack. It's the best item in the pack, I swear. It's so cute. And he also has new pants. These are also from the pack. It's just such a cute look. I love it. He has a secondary outfit with these overalls it's custom content and then i even gave him a hat that he can wear sometimes it's this cute little hat with um bear ears but i realized i only took pictures of his first outfit but it's okay you guys get to see them now while i make them and i think i gave him the inquisitive trait and their last name is rivers very <laughs> original i know but i just had to go with something <laughs> but anyways that is my let's play sims done let's play is coming in the next few days hopefully tomorrow but definitely the day after if not tomorrow give this video a thumbs up if you are excited comment down below if you have any ideas on what we should do with the storyline and what are the things that you really want to see in a let's play with cottage living thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed and here's a little august love him so much i'll see you guys very soon for the next video hope you're having a great day and bye